Hi, my name is Alex. I'm K6VHF, and today I'm going to show you my recent new design of this kind of portable antenna. I recently posted on the Facebook. So this is how it looks like: this short, small, foldable, actually very light as well, and they have a ready attached to the boom. It's actually Chinese station hook sync, which I actually like. I test it. It's a very good performance, much better than other Chinese stations. So I want to keep this. So this is how it looks like, as you can see, approximately 12 inch, like one feet long, and then it's foldable. So you see, here are the two elements, which is inside with this short Chinese as well uh, fishing rod, and then this is the driven element. And I have this. I'll show you why. So I want to show you how we can deassemble, assemble, how long you're going to take, and then how it looks like. So basically, again, I'm going to do like this. Take these two elements. So you don't want to even mark which one is which one because, as you can see, they have a different length. So the short one is going to be uh, the rectum, right? have a tiny hole here and another hole is right here so just be gently pull the inside the element so I have a small mark which just gives the center the element is center so another one is right over here which is reflected uh, I have also mark as well so you see, they are not lined up. What we're gonna do just simply rotate because you see there's two different sections. So one is here, another one. So there, this one is absolutely independent of this one and can be whatever even change the polarization. That's the next step. So we got two elements right now, but something definitely missing, of course. It's a driven element, it's an active element, which is over here. And then I'm gonna take this and wrap. And as you can see, I just put this small piece of the uh, PCB. I got one piece from old PCB, whatever, and just uh, solder it. The uh, as you can see, like this. So the uh, central and the shield are soldered directly to the end and this is uh, the modified one as you can see there are different uh, diameter but it absolutely doesn't matter what you're going to use because you get it tuned later anyway so this is how it looks like while well, I mark I have marks because I uh, tune it already and you know where is my position for now ideal is make another one, hole right here and put the tiny screw and then you'll be able to just untie it rotate along like this and be always in the same position just basically untie it and tie it to make it straight so, for me, that absolutely doesn't matter because it's just extra couple of seconds. What I use, I use simple this. We can use zip type, whatever you have. It's, it's up to you. It absolutely doesn't matter what you're going to use at this point. So, basically, I'm going to tie this. Well, for now, it's demonstration. It's not really good but I just want to show you the, the basics how the antenna works it shouldn't be perfect should be good enough to be tight to and to the boom that's not really enough I'm gonna make a something much better 
and then uh, all for the field or just for hiking or backpacking and yeah, it's better use something uh, like a zip tie or do something like much faster than I did now well that's it that's pretty much it this is actually the whole setup it takes I don't know two minutes three minutes just to set it up from uh, this the whole antenna system so basically you can hold here and you can operate you can dial whatever uh, do whatever you want with your radio station but I prefer have a microphone so that gives me opportunity to be independent from the antenna and from the radio station I can do whatever I want with the radio station I don't have to be close to the radio station so to the radio station on uh, I come and the rest of the this, is, this is our repeater <clears throat> but this antenna improves uh, uh, receiving at least 570 dB which is significant difference between Negative original was, antenna uh, and this trail element yet so you can hold you can change the polarization in the same time so it's easy right you can make it shorter you know you can change the polarization even you can attach this to the tripod and have as a as a like s local repeater just to the certain direction point to a certain direction and use as a station so a lot of things you can actually do use this antenna but my goal is just you know, have something portable, ultralight, which I can hold and have with me every time. Wherever I go, have a backpacking, and then uh, hiking, along with my HF equipment. So, and I finally got this, so, actually works very, very good. I have no problem, no issues at all. And then, I'm gonna, in the future, wanna make, convert this basic antenna to the dual band. So I'm gonna attach two more elements for a two meter band and uh, make this antenna 100% ready for satellites. So right now, basically, I can use this to receive the signal from uh, SO50 and uh, as well. Uh, International Space Station but for the other stations I mean uh, satellites you need 2 meters band antenna so that's why I want to add two more elements here and then uh, probably ready for the satellites I want to show demonstrate how this works as a satellite antenna it's much faster than Arrowhead uh, antenna because you have to waste the time to put that antenna all together, all elements, because it's too much, too many elements, and it's pretty like a lot of time to uh, assemble the whole antenna. I had that antenna previously, so that's why. And there is no actually difference between, I would say, seven elements and three elements. You won't find a difference, real difference. Unless if it's your correspondent is or another station, it's too far. So in that case, you can see the difference between five and seven elements, Yagi. But in a real uh, near distance, there's absolutely no difference. I'm talking about like a couple uh, 
10, 50 miles, maybe 100 miles, that's not a big difference. So that's why I have, why I need to have like 7 or 10 elements Yagi for the portable. That's 4 or 3 elements Yagi is definitely enough to do the same, absolutely same job. Well, I just want to show this antenna and um, demonstrate and actually that's it. In the future I'll uh, convert this to dual band and show that how that antenna works. For now, that's pretty much it and we show the best. I'm Alex K6 VHF with my 3 element portable antenna for 70 centimeters. Sound free, see you soon.